Today, we're going to take a look at all of the items in the Lucky Fella NPC, and I'm going to try and give you some ideas on how you can use them to improve your builds and designs of your bases. There are 10 items total in this NPC, costing 775 L bucks or $9,500. Honestly, that's not as bad as some of the other NPCs, so I can't wait to see what these items actually are. Our first item is the Lucky Horseshoe. It can be used in a barn as decoration, or you can put it in with all of your horses in a sort of horse stable. And then another outside the box idea is to put it on a beach next to some iron fences so you can pretend like you're playing the game Horseshoes. It's a really simple designed item, but it can add a lot of detail to your build if you can use it correctly. This next item is most likely going to be used to add a little more color to your house. The potted four leaf clover you can just place on a counter or on a windowsill, but probably I'm going to place it on a desk for my gaming setup. And then it just adds that little bit of color because say you have a whole room made out of white concrete. If you add this, it's going to add that little bit of green to bring your room to life. The Lucky Tackle Box has a lot of uses. You're gonna mainly probably use it for putting on a dock since it is for fishing, but you can also use it as a toolbox and put it in sort of like a factory or work area and pretend like it's holding all your hardy tools that you're gonna to use to build your base. So say you have a half constructed wooden build, you might put this on top of a log and it's going to make it seem like you're still working on the build itself. Although there's a lot of uses for the tackle box, the Lucky Cat has almost no uses. Unless you're building a Japanese style build, I can't really think of many ways to use this other than a decoration on a shelf to add a little bit more color and like light and animation to your build. And you can almost pretend like it's a trophy that you want to show off. Same thing with the chunk of jade, this gemstone really isn't entirely useful for anything other than maybe a small decoration to add some color, but the one idea I have is maybe you can add it to a cave system as sort of a pile of emeralds on the ground, almost like you were mining. You throw down a pick in an item frame and then you also throw some of this next to it along with a barrel and it will look beautiful in a nice little scene like thing. Although this is a lucky store, I don't find the rubber duck that lucky. But I do think it'd be used in a lot of ways like on a river, lake, or pond to add a little bit more color. But nowhere where it's going to be too obvious. Rather just use it as a bit of a detail or color marker. Instead of having green lily pads everywhere you add like a duck or two along with some maybe turtle eggs to add some color detail and sort of try to make an ecosystem inside of the ponds. So really talking about ecosystems, this next item, the large red mushroom, again, it's going to be used to add a little bit more detail to your build, but it can be used in anything natural like a hobbit hole, swamps, or even a tree. Since you can place it on item frames on the side of a block, you can place this mushroom on the side of a tree to add a little bit of color. Imagine having small mushrooms coming out of the bottom of a big giant willow tree, and then you've got some of these big mushrooms growing off the side of them, along with some vines, and it will look beautiful. But now we have these three potions. The first one is the Essence of Luck, and it gives us luck water breathing and night vision luck for five minutes although this potion kind of becomes obsolete because of the new hat in the crate where you get infinite luck effect this item can still be pretty helpful for if you're trying to get a little bit of luck but you don't have the money to invest into getting a 1.5 million dollar helmet wait you can milk a goat um okay then but so now let's try out the clover juice. So this is going to give us luck again and jump boost seven. How high does this actually make us jump? Wait a minute. Okay, no jumping yet. And okay, so we're jumping about like 10, not 10. I'd say this is like seven blocks high. I stand right here and I jump up here. Yeah, easily. So that's about six blocks. How about seven? Yeah, I'd say we can jump about seven blocks with Jump Boost 7. Not even terrible. And the final item in the NPC, the Dragon Blood, which costs about $48,000, making this the most expensive item in the NPC. And it's going to be giving us Jump Boost, Absorption, Luck, and Regeneration. So this is basically a Golden Apple. What the heck was that jump? This is like a 10 block jump boost. Wait a minute. These are like max effects. I can jump like 15 blocks with this potion. And then we have an extra 20 hearts of absorption. 
course, we have luck. I don't know what level it is, though. That's the only sad part. And then regeneration for five minutes. I'm not quite sure if this potion was worth $48,000, but it's still insane that we're able to jump this high. Like, with an elytra, I can just jump and glide almost everywhere. This is definitely one of my favorite potions released so far, but this NPC really gave us a lot of items that we can use to add a little bit more detail to our bases. And if I ever get to building my own base, I'll definitely be using quite a few of these different items. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and like always, have a great day!